Those of you that have been around this channel for a little bit already know that scaling is my all-time favorite archetype. So, you know, with the Summon Weekly, we're gonna have to find a way to shoehorn scaling in here somehow. Enjoy the games, and if you want to come hang out live, we'll be live streaming exactly one hour after this video uploads on YouTube. So, come hang out, love to see you there. Nefarious Boogeyman? Seems good. Assuming they don't have a tennis ball, because tennis ball just like hard tracks the basilisk for some reason. So yeah, we're good though. We're all cooking. Roll me once here. I like it. I think we combine throw in a the cricket or groundhog better in a vacuum. I feel like groundhog probably. Run it kind of like this. I don't love the back half of this team, but maybe the front half will do fine. I don't know. Yeah, we're fine actually. The one, what is that, one five rock killing it. Alright, let's combine here. I like Spider. See if we can get a pill for him. I mean, we gotta try the worm at some point. Maybe we just pull the trigger. I don't know about that one. <laughs> that one is, a, is that the normal effect for, for worm when you play him? This funky like wow wow. I feel like it can't be, right? We're cooking. Golden Retriever. Bringing us a dub. Thank you, thank you. Oh wow, early level 2 worm here. Okay, we need to analyze here real quick. How is this worm gonna slot in? I think the eel makes a lot of sense. Leech just simply does not have a place in this in this weekly. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. Hippocampus for sure we want. I think that's kind of it. Grab a hippocampus and then run like a boitata maybe. I don't know. I, I can't imagine this is like the best build ever, but I, we gotta try it, right? Just to see. Okay, I don't care about a 1-1, one, one, but I will start buying them next turn, maybe. I don't like any of these. Roll me. Straight up, maybe we just grab another spider. I think that's better than the the, the one trumpet. I mean, it's, it's definitely better than the one trumpet. Not even really like a I think kind of situation. Okay, we got a ton... Ooh, okay. We might be- oh, dude, <laughs> you did not. Two sheep? Dude, these spiders are rigged. What the heck? They had no business winning that one. And he summoned two heckin' sheep. Okay, well for now, I mean, we can just stat up the worm, right? That's not a bad play. Man, if we had a rabbit or something, though? We'd be cooking. Alright, so we could do spider. Are there any tier threes we want? I mean, it's, it's the eel, really, is the only one. I'm not gonna, like, try to pill the spider into an eel. Especially because it's at lower stats in that case. Oh boy. That was, uh, nasty. <laughs> Are these spiders on the same RNG seed or something? Kind of suspecting that they might be. Cockatoo is interesting. Um, do we care about it though? That's the question. I don't. I'm kind of thinking secretary bird here. You know, get rid of the bunyip, throw in a secretary bird. Maybe do something like this. We need to get rid of the basilisk. That's for sure. We can find something good here. Maybe even the sheep. Roll me one more. Ooh, just kidding. Maybe not just kidding. Do we want an eel? <laughs> I don't know. Um, is eel better right now? No. We can level the spider. We'll give eel garlic next turn. Okay. I think this is the way to do it. I mean, health potion eel seems to make sense. Just intuitively. Okay. We're 
cooking. We're cooking up something. All right. All right. So start me here. Get rid of the basilisk. I think we combine spiders. Cow is very good. Um, or we polar bear here. I don't think the high end upside on the eel warrants a polar bear necessarily. But maybe if we just go like polar bear platypus, right? And then we can wait a second. Run something like that. And then we can do... How do we want to run this? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think we lead with polar bear, right? And then... Straight up, what if we just do this? Roll me. Yeah, I think I like this. I take that back. I think this is okay. I don't know if it's... I don't know if I love it. We're at least pretty strong with the worm. That we can say for sure. Okay, so now we get rid of you. Throw in an eel. Give you a little something here. Give you a little... Eh, garlic is probably better than the health potion. Platypus me. Sure, sure. Double. Are we really doing a level 3 spider? Surely not. Surely that's not the play, right? Just can't be. Okay. This is working out wonderfully. Okay. Um, how do we want to do this here? We could level Secretary Bird. So I don't think that's like the play, right? I'm kind of thinking we go Turkey. Give these guys a little more oomph, if you will. And then we go here. And I think we double level and freeze. I think I like this. I like where we're at here. Okay. I would like to get the eel leveled, if at all possible. Okay. Rude. Oh, the garlic got us. Ooh, okay. We get a level. What do you got for us? Linus is probably good. Is it though? With the worm, it I don't think it fits. Now that I think about it. Maybe we ditch the spider. This might be one of those hard pivot angles. You know, where we get rid of the, the turkey. Just full send our, our scaling comp. Oh, he's got it cooking. You goofball. You're missing out on all of your little homies. He could have easily won that if he didn't throw out all of his Easter bunnies. Like they're heckin' trash. Okay, gain 100% health. I don't think we care that much about that. We could Orca. I think we gotta focus on the plan at hand, right? This is good. We also need to like win pretty soon because this, the high end on this team is definitely not late game potential. Oh, rude. Okay, we're fine. No worries. Yeah, you gotta win this one before turn 15 for sure. Uh, maybe that means doing something a little funky here. I'm not sure yet. Roll me. Maybe. You know, like get... I mean, is the turkey level up even doing anything here? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't even have anything to use chocolate on. 
Maybe we'll do the, the mammoth strat. Yeah, I don't know. This is a little tricky. Because the eel is pretty much maxed out health-wise. If this guy had a big turkey or something, he probably would have been pretty good off. But the polar bear is not a big summon support. If you didn't know. <laughs> okay, so scaling. It's okay. Test it out a little more. Let's see where we're at. I mean, the 2550 is pretty good. Low investors. That's pretty true. Ikey. Okay. I'll take a draw here, I guess. <laughs> kind of a weird setup we got. Um, Suchinoko, sure. Dude, I honestly, like, hard dislike the magpie. Or like this. I don't even, I don't know. I don't wanna ask. <laughs> I genuinely think that was the best we could have done, but I'm not happy about it. We draw, okay. <laughs> Take a draw. Not that it really matters, considering it was a wash anyways. Hmm, we ever go like a hedgehog? I don't think so. Go here, go here. I'm like this. I'm not loving this. Some of the worst trades known to man, but <laughs> it actually worked out. Crazy. Alright, level me. What do we got? Goldfish or dog? Love me again. Dog Pegasus. That might be the way to do it. Here to you. I know we invested a, a good amount in you, but... We are pivoting now. We're cooking. Love to see it. Okay. I don't like you that much. Get rid of you. Roll me. I like Easter egg here. Maybe throw it on a spider. Spider's probably the most likely to stick around. And straight up, we run it like this. you ever rock a sheep here? No, I don't think so. Doesn't really fit the vibe. Alright. Next turn's gonna be pretty big. We're gonna need a lot out of this one. And we draw. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Could be worse. Okay. Um, I actually think we get rid of Suchinoko. And we start doing this. Ooh, Hippocampus. Friend gains health, though. Dude, imagine if it was attack <laughs> paired with Pegasus. Oh. Is there a health version of Pegasus here? Wouldn't that be something? We could pair Leech with with Hippocampus, in theory. And then I guess we just drop you here, just cuz. So that is gonna be permanent attack for the, for the dog. So that's something. Ouch. And we're good, okay. Whew, that was, uh, that was almost spicy. I think we Easter egg here. Um, we probably combine the Pegasus here, but we'll see. I don't know if I like any of these. I think we're rolling. Maybe combine you throwing a sheep 
just for a little extra summon. Come on, where are the rest of the hippocampus? I'm waiting for him. Okay, I think for this is good. The dog probably needs some garlic. I think that's a safe assessment. Um, we could throw an eel. There's the garlic. Get rid of you. A little buy sell. There's so much going on here. Hold on to the Easter egg for later. And Ooh, I like the Pegasus. Or do I? Pegasus might be going actually. Now that I think about it. As soon as I find like a turkey or something similar, I feel like the Pegasus is gone. They they serve a very similar function, right? We can all agree. Pegasus and Turkey are both very similar. Okay. Do we ever just try to level up a an Easter bunny? <laughs> you know, like, is that ever the play? Maybe. And then we can go secretary. No, we want to pill you. Get an Easter Bunny cooking and a tier three. Boo dog, don't think we care about. Now we go secretary bird here. We go Easter Bunny with an Easter Bunny. <laughs> How insane is that? Um, yeah, I think we're rolling here. There he is. Straight up, I'll buy so. Get a little extra some something going. Dude, this dog is popping off, by the way. That's kind of insane. I guess we should have the bunny up front, shouldn't we? Oh no! <laughs> Everything is ruined. You bastard. <laughs> How dare you. Um, okay. Well that, we'll, we'll chalk that one up to a fluke. Um, let's roll here. We go here, grab a cow, start getting our Monty cooking up. Actually, I guess. Are oh, you giving three, two? Yeah, that's fine. An eight, eight is pretty good. I think we're happy with that. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of a weird setup we got going here, but I'm liking it. I like where we're at right now. I wish we found some more hippocampus. That'd be pretty cool. But we don't need them, apparently. Do we care about Spinosaurus? I honestly don't think so. I think we sell the cow. We'll just do buy sells. That'll keep getting our dog more buffs. Otherwise, I'd try to get him extra levels, but I think this is better. And obviously, we look for turkeys here. Don't like any of these that much. I think we're rolling. Ooh, Stegosaurus. That could be interesting. Getting our turkey huge. Do it like this. We throw a tinder box out there, see where we're at, and then roll. 
another Stegosaurus. Okay. <laughs> um, do we ever just food dog here? Like, greet it out a little bit, do a double food dog. I guess it won't actually upgrade the Stegosaurus because it's future pets. But future Stegosauruses, it would. Stegosauri. And we're good. Look at that. We're killing it. Okay. Eh, I don't think we need another one. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Lovely. Let's see how this little guy does. Instant kill? Almost. Close enough. Looking good, looking good. Another chicken leg, don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, who do we want to level here? Thank you. Wow, okay. Freeze literally everything. It's probably get rid of a dog angle now. We're just gonna go in on this Easter bunny. Ouch. You wrecked our Easter Bunny. Fortunately, our turkey is ginormous. We could get a level 3 steg- Okay, honestly though, level 3 stegosaurus is not worth it. Um, do you- Does leveling Easter Bunny- Or the Monty, does that do anything? I'm curious now. Roll me once. Ooh, okay. Get a little double turkey action going. I can't believe we haven't found a single other hippocampus, by the way. Because I'm pretty sure it says when you... Oh, dude, I'm glad we dodged that. I'm pretty sure it tells you if leveling up doesn't actually influence anything. Oh, that was exact lethal. You hate to see it. So I feel like it, it actually would. Um, but we'll see, I guess. Just keep the Easter Bunny going. Can I get a chocolate, maybe? Yes, yes. What do we got? Oh, dude, it does work. So you can attack for like 4x damage. That would be insane on that old like instant level 3 build, you know what I'm talking about, from the unicorn pack. Thank you for the free pet, by the way. Okay, yeah, the, the turkeys are still going to be better. The mass turkey synergy. We're also kind of getting to the point where this is a little overkill, so we might not even want it anymore, but, you know, we'll see. Um, we can keep the orca around, probably get rid of the hippocampus, I would say. It's like an orca mushroom kind of vibe. Okay, <laughs> we're in it, somehow. This is like, very much not going to last very long. We should probably do our best to make sure we win here. Freeze you. Freeze you, maybe. Give you a garlic. Okay, I don't think we're gonna put a cow in there, right? That doesn't seem necessary. Did the Stegosaurus just not go? He just didn't feel like helping out our little turkey friend here? Not very cool. 
Um, I think we do this and just try to get him. I think he must have gotten sniped before because the leopards were so huge. I don't even know who to put this on. I guess you. Really no point though. <laughs> Triple attack seems excessive. You know. Oh, Chimera. OP. Yeah, this is why Turkey's OP. <laughs> Full summons. It doesn't matter how big your freaking dudes are. They will never survive an onslaught of full summons with turkey. It's just not gonna happen. Maybe some improper herbs. Crownhog and Ferret are quite similar in appearance, I would say. And we're cooking. Little zombie cricket. Love it. Go here. Let's go here. Might end up doing a peach. Sure. Uh, it doesn't actually matter where the groundhog is right now. Ooh, big snipes. Dude, we're cooking. We are cooking up something nasty right now. Alright, start me here. Let's get another tennis ball going. Oh, love it. Alright, I'll switch to balloon into eel, I think is the way to do it. Run a little something like this. Straight up, I would actually run... No, I don't think Hogo Pogo is going to do it. I'll actually get some peaches if they give it to me. Oh, that is a big cricket. That is like the worst math possible. That is horrendous. He had perfect kill on everybody. Alright. We go here. We go here. Roll me. Roll me. Love it. Straight up. Here to you. Ooh, found a food dog. Let's do this. We can set up for a level three. It's a lot of hamsters. <laughs> and let's roll out a couple. Okay. So we're going to get some buffs on our eel here. That'll be nice. Yeah, I don't expect to win these ones. This is a transitionary period. Um, but we got the eel going. I don't think I like either of these. The Anubis doesn't have enough support. I'll just come out here and say it. I don't think Anubis has nearly enough to make it viable in this weekly. Um, we don't have any faints. So Cockatoo doesn't work either. Another food dog, interesting. I think we do this and then we do garlic on you. Garlic doing work out here. Always love it. All right, that's basically exactly how we're hoping that to go. Hoping for that to go. Speaking is hard. Um, let's roll. Ooh, don't mind if I do. A deer. Okay. Could run a deer. Run it kind of like this, maybe? Maybe like that? Not sure how. I don't know the best way to structure this kind of setup. Do we do the gradient? Or do we kind of switch it around a little? Guess it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> the chili is really good against summons, but so is garlic. They both kind of serve a similar purpose. Okay. I mean, it's probably about time to get rid of the ferret, right? What is he even doing right now? Nothing. We'll grab a cockatoo. A 410 cockatoo, mind you. 
Let's ignore the secretary bird for just a second. Though it is a 213, that's kind of good. Alright, just kidding. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Let's try to find a pill. Hippocampus, maybe. There's the pill. I wish we found it one turn earlier. Um, let's run it like this. That. Yeah, let's do this. The monkey's gonna be huge for the, for the eel here. Looking great. Let's keep it going. Alright, so we pill you. Give us a monkey. Do we care about Hippocampus here? It's probably better than Secretary Bird. Now that I think about it. Don't care. We'll grab Fu. Hold on to this banana. Okay, so now you're getting 3-3 three, three because of the Hippocampus. That's, that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> Not the greatest thing, but... It's a thing. Okay, I'm glad that bus got through that large thick homie. Level, thank you. Is it a lioness angle? What if we get rid of you? Because we can't banana pill the deer. Otherwise, I would. We get rid of food dog. Alright, I have an idea. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get a bus cooking out here. And then we're gonna immediately sell the bus. <laughs> so the eel here, I'll just explain the process here, okay? The eel is gonna be our champion to get us through until the lioness kicks in. Um, Peach is a little late, I would have to imagine. Love it. Do I love it? No. Level 3 eel is largely unnecessary. Oh baby, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, so you should be pretty good at getting through pretty much everything. And then ideally, as soon as you hit 25 health, we can land into like a lionfish, maybe a leopard, something like that. Um, but we'll see. Eat me cake is tempting. I would rather get a chocolate maybe for our monkey. Clear up some room. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like this. There's the leopard. Tell you what, let's do... Let's get you in here. We're not going to buff you yet. Because you're getting, in a way, passively buffed by the lioness. But I'd rather keep getting our, our eel cooking up. Oh, dude. That just was not happening. The, the, the attack on our eel was just slightly too low. Okay. Roll me. Ooh, I love a hippocampus here. Roll me. Roll me. I don't love it. Give you like a steak. Give you a little bit of oomph, you know? Alright, you get one more. One more turn up front, Mr. Eel, and then you're gone. Just enough to get you to the 50. Pretty good. Oh, just kidding. Not very good. We're almost there, though. We're approaching the end game. Roll me. We need to get a leopard. We need to get a hippocampus. There's our leopard. I think we're ditching lioness, probably. We 
guess there's no reason to ditch it, right? Freeze you. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm I'm glad we froze first. That could have been an issue. Okay. I like where we're at right now. We're getting some good, good stuff going. Hmm, unfortunately the leopard missed. But it did get a few good hits. Which might be enough to get us there. Okay. That's the other thing too, even if you don't snipe their support unit, hitting a bunch of snipes at the same, or summons at the same time, it it makes you them waste a lot of summons. So it works out pretty well. Okay, it, I think it's time to get rid of Lioness. I think we need to pivot here. Of course, now we're going to find all the Lioness. Okay, don't care. Actually, Cow is pretty good. We're going to be real here. Because we're also triggering Hippocampus. Speaking of, let's do this. Hold on to these two. Do we need a lionfish? It might be too late for a lionfish, but I'm down to try. Because our leopard's almost at 50 attack. Great snipe on the turkey. Fantastic. Love it. We're getting through it. Scaling is always supreme. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> Alright, so let's combine you. Another leopard. We'll hold on to you. Roll me once and we'll see what we do. Not a whole lot of direction there, but let's do this. And then let's try to get a lionfish. Okay, good snipes. Can we get their chest? Actually, they're already only on one health anyways. <laughs> I was going to say, we could get their chest just to screw with them next round. You don't have the next round. <laughs> so monkey's very good. Monkey hippocampus too. Love it. Especially if you can slot a cow in there with your hippocampus. Scaling. What can I say? It's always good.